Controversial independent Senator Lydia Thorpe wants to help write the official no pamphlet, which will be distributed to all Australian households before the referendum on the Indigenous voice to Parliament. Senator Lydia Thorpe wants the perspective of the black sovereign movement included in the official no brochure sent to voters ahead of the referendum. She says there are already many sovereign nations in Australia which do not accept the legitimacy of the constitution. It has no power. It will be controlled by the parliament. We want to have a conversation with the so-called other sovereign who apparently uh, lives in another country and apparently is named the king. The outspoken former Green expects the no pamphlet to largely be authored by coalition members opposed to The Voice. The opposition leader began question time with his familiar plea to the Prime Minister for more detail on the referendum. Refuses to provide basic detail on dis divisive changes to our constitution. When will the Prime Minister come clean about the damage his government is causing our country? Anthony Albanese providing fresh clarity about the issues The Voice would consult government on. Which affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples differently to other members of the Australian community? AFL legend Michael Long will use this year's long walk to attempt to convince opposition leader Peter Dutton to support The Voice. He'll trek from the MCG to Parliament in the lead-up to the referendum expected in October or November. We left that door open. I said, please... Uh, join us and, and I think um, you know uh, ultimately at the end of the day we want to move forward as a nation and we can't do that unless we work together. A newly released election style advert takes aim at voice architect Thomas Mayo for previously saying it will allow First Nations people to punish politicians for ignoring them. You know this is the first step, it's a vital step. Pay the rent for example, you know how, how do we do that in a way that is transparent and that it actually sees reparations and compensation to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. The attacks on Mr Mayo continued in question time in Parliament. He responded, releasing a statement defending the comments he made when he was a union leader years ago. Unfortunately, some of the policy decisions that have been made in the past have been harmful and divisive, and I don't believe there is anything wrong with pointing that out. The exact date of the referendum is expected to be revealed at the Gama Festival in August. Joel Philp, Sky News, Canberra.